from Polk County Public Libraries, and for this week's Teen Thursday, we have a craft demo. So you can come pick up your free take and make bag at the library, Columbus or Saluda Library, and get started making a yarn monogram. So in your bag, you have three different things. You have a piece of cardboard. You have two different kinds of yarn. So one of them is probably going to be a more solid color piece that you have more of, and that's going to be the main part of your yarn monogram. And the other kind um, might be multicolored and you just have a small amount of that, and that is going to go around the outside of your yarn monogram. So Amelia here at the library made a giant yarn monogram. Ours are not going to be this big, but if you happen to have a big piece of cardboard and a lot, a lot of yarn at home, you could make one this big if you wanted to. Um, so like I said, two kinds of yarn. She has the solid color that goes um, over the whole letter and then the multicolor that goes around the outside. So other things that you need from home are, um, are scissors and if you have it, a glue gun would be very helpful. Um, if you don't have a hot glue gun, they are relatively inexpensive at Dollar General, um, Walmart, those kind of stores. Or uh, you could try to use tape or another kind of glue and see uh, if that works. If you have a grown-up who has an X-Acto knife, that might be helpful in cutting your cardboard, but those are very sharp, so make sure you have adult supervision if you choose to do that. Um, you might also need a pencil or a pen. So you're going to start with your piece of cardboard, and I have already cut mine out. Uh, I didn't want to do that on camera because it does take a while, and it might be boring to watch me do that. But you are going to um, draw the letter that you want to make for your yarn monogram on the piece of cardboard. Um, so a monogram, mono means one, one letter. Could be the first letter of your first name, like J for Jen. Um, it could be the first letter of your last name. Um, so choose a letter, draw it on your cardboard and cut it out. Uh, for the most part, scissors does do work well for cutting out the cardboard. Um, Depending on what letter you are, if you need more details, that's when an X-Acto knife might come in handy. Um, so just do your best. And the cardboard doesn't have to be perfect at all because we're going to cover it up with yarn. All right, so you're going to start with your uh, pile of yarn that is the biggest, which is probably a solid color. I have some pale blue here. And we're not going to use the hot glue gun yet. We're going to let that heat up. The first layer, we're going to do two layers. The first layer um, is a base layer. It doesn't matter what it looks like. We're just getting the yarn on the cardboard so that our second layer of yarn, which is what you'll actually see, is going to stick better. Sticks better to other yarn than it does to cardboard with the hot glue. So you are going to tie your yarn in a knot on the back side of your letter. And then you're just going to start wrapping it. And remember, we're not really worried about aesthetics um, for this part, because this is just our base layer. Um, you have smaller pieces of yarn, unlike mine, so I have this big old bunch here, so it's getting tangled. And in the case that your yarn does get tangled, you can always cut it, which I may have to do, and start with the new piece. But like I said, I have already like untangled all of your yarn, so hopefully it didn't get tangled back up in the bag, but that's always possible. And I probably won't finish mine on camera. This project is actually one of the longer ones that takes some time. So, I know you guys don't want to watch me for like an hour. That would be pretty boring. Depending on the shape of your letter, you might have to go a few different ways around to make sure all of the cardboard is covered. So I went up and down on my J, but then the middle wasn't covered, so then I went side to side. And then for the rest of my J, 
pretty easy. And this is the first layer. Does not matter if some cardboard is showing. We will cover that up in the second layer. glue gun is heating up. All right, I think I have a pretty good first layer. Gonna cut my yarn. And I did not give you a ton of yarn in your bag. Like it's not a whole thing of yarn. Um, so make sure that you make your letter out of cardboard pretty small so that you can use all your yarn. Uh, and you don't run out. All right, so I finished my first layer. Now we're gonna do our second layer. So we don't need too much, uh, too much hot glue or anything um, for this. We're mainly gonna use the hot glue for the border. And now I have lost where the yarn starts. Okay, I'll just cut. All right, so we will start the second layer with another tie on the back. Now this is the, um, the time that we want to make sure to cover all of the cardboard. Now, it is okay to not totally cover the edges because we are going to go back and do that with our other color of yarn. So don't worry too much about the edges, but do get all of the interior of your letter um, totally covered. I'm kind of trying a new wrapping technique here. You can go all different directions. The, this yarn I'm using, um, I was just using what is left over. So it's a little bit thicker probably than the main yarn you have. So I'm going to have a very thick letter. Tangled up again. So actually, I haven't used any hot glue at all. And it is sticking very nicely. If you have a thinner yarn, you might need to use some hot glue to hold it in place. But if your yarn is pretty thick and it sticks to each other, then that makes it really easy. Sticks to the other yarn layer. It does get a little tricky here at the end of my J, but I will be covering that up with the outer layer of yarn. So this is probably actually where I will use the glue gun is for this final piece here. We don't want it to all unravel, all our hard work. Please also have adult supervision for your glue gun. Hot glue is very hot and it is not fun to burn yourself, which I have done many times. Uh, make sure you're putting the hot glue on the back of your monogram so you can't see it. All right, I have my nice J. Of course, mine's not perfect. Um, covered. And then the last step we're gonna do is we're going to go around the outside with our multicolored yarn. This is the part I'm not gonna show you because it might take a while because you do need to stop and hot glue it. So depending on how thick it is, you might need to use two pieces. Um, so you're just going to hot glue it around the side. And this is uh, when you need to be patient. I can be pretty impatient. You're going to have to let the hot glue dry and you might have to do a few 
few different rounds to get it all covered. So you're just going to go all the way around the outside of your monogram and stopping the hot glue it every so often. And hopefully yours will look like this one instead of this one. This, this yarn was too thick for the main part. I think it looks a lot better when you have this kind of yarn, which is what I put in your take and effects. And then when you are finished, you will have your beautiful yarn monogram to hang up in your room, or you could give it as a gift if you like. Whatever you want to do. Hope you guys have fun. <laughs>